Hello, I'm Ross, I work at Rive, and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to implement Rive files in your Framer designs. So here I have a beautiful button made by Dmitry Novikov, who also works on the Rive team. It's been made using layouts, which means I can change the text, and the button will resize accordingly. And because Rive files are not prototypes, they are production ready, I can go up here and click Export, Export for Runtime. I'm currently using Early Access, so I just click I like to live dangerously, and then I'll save the button in my downloads. Here I have a website design made in Framer. Next, I can go up to the top left, click Plugins, Browse All, and then I'll search for Rive. And here we have the Rive plugin in the Framer Marketplace. Just click on this, and I can now browse and pick my button that I just created. Up here you can see we have our button, and you might be able to see that vector feathering is not activated by default. This is because we need to go into Player and turn on the Rive renderer. Now you can see up here that vector feathering has been turned on. Let me just go back to the inputs panel for a second, and we can see some of the settings. Here we can select our artboard, so make sure you pick the right one, and we can also pick the state machine. Definitely pick the right one there. We can also activate any inputs, so if I check this boolean on, you'll see that the button gets checked on as well. And then check it off. On, off, on, off. Let's go back into the player settings. We have autoplay switched on, which means it's playing the state machine. Auto bind is set to true, which means that any data binding happening in the Rive file is activated. We can also handle events, and of course, play on Framer Canvas, which just means it's going to play when we drag it onto our design. Touch screen enabled, uh, we don't need that right now. What we do need to change though is the fit. Since this button was designed using layouts, we can actually change the fit to layout, and this enables us to use the layout feature within Framer. You may notice that the button is quite big. I can simply turn down the layout scale, let's say to uh, 0 0.5, and this shrinks the design. Readjust the corners to activate it again, and I can close this panel. And now all I need to do is just drag this Rive file into my design, delete the old button, tap Command P to preview my website design, and as you can see, the button works exactly as it did in Rive.